Well, hello everyone. I've got a little golden piece of treasure with me. Hello. It's Wesley. He's a bit bigger than since last time he came on. I bought him on because he's golden. Often we think gold's really expensive. And he's an even greater treasure than any gold could be to us. Oh, he wants to get down too. But that makes me think, what is the most precious thing ever? What is it, Wesley? So imagine for a moment that you are a pirate. Arr, looking for a treasure. What could be the best treasure that you could ever think of? Would it be gold? Would it be money? Would it be puppies? Or maybe you would say the best treasure you could get is time with a person who's special to you. Maybe a friend, maybe someone in your family. Today's school value is love. When you love something or someone, you treasure it and it is precious to you. Let's now just have a moment to think about what's the most precious thing ever to you? What is your greatest treasure? Have you decided what your biggest treasure is? Sorry about the background noise, by the way. Wesley the puppy's decided he wants to take Reader's Digest seriously. And he's eating a book. Oh dear. That's not quite the point in books, Wesley. They're not for eating, they're for reading. <sighs> well, I've had a think. And did you know that Jesus told a story about hidden treasure? Have you heard it before? Well, let's hear it now. One day, there was a man walking in a field. Just an ordinary man. I'm just an ordinary old dude. I haven't got much money, but I do love a great explore in the great outdoors. Ah, look, a field. Looks a bit messy, but always good to explore new places. It was nothing special, and so he was about to turn around and leave. But as he was walking, he turned around and thought he saw something shiny. Oh, am I imagining that? Something shiny in the ground. Better go and see. And so he ran to get a shovel. Can I get a... Can I get a fork? And as soon as he dug just a little, he heard a chink sound. Oh. Oh, what's that? Probably nothing, but should really check it out. And so he kept digging. And to his amazement, he saw the bright glimmer of gold. Wow. Whoa, dude, what is this stuff? The more he dug, the more gold. I found hidden treasure! It's, it's not mine because this, this is my field. Ah, I've got an idea. I'll buy the field and then you get with it the treasure too. How am I going to do that? I don't have much money. So he went off to try to buy the field from its owner. So happy. I want to buy the field! Hey there, Mr. Man. I own this here field. But it's not really much of a field. Don't really like it that much. You can buy it off me fine. Yes, great. I'm so happy and so excited about this. Great, but... Oh, wait. Not so fast. Can you really afford this field? Well, I'm so excited about this field that I just, I just sold everything that I have in order to get enough money to buy it. Oh, come on. What did you do that for? It's only a field. I don't know why you're so into it. It's not like there's hidden treasure there, is there? I don't think he knows about the treasure. Do you? What was that? Can't hear it if you whisper. So do you want this field or not? Yes, please. 
<laughs> but <laughs> I'll leave people to make their own bad decisions. Yes, ka I have the field. Well, I think, Lee, I think you could safely say I made a handsome profit there. Now I can go and search the treasure out. I just saw ours. I'm so happy. And so the man ran and skipped for joy back to the field. Wow, there's, now I've got the field. There's even more than I could ever have dreamed of. There's enough fit for a king or a queen. Fit for the king of kings. This treasure is worth hundreds of times anything I've ever had before. It was all worth it. What's the point? What's the point of this story? Well, who would not like finding hidden treasure? But think about it. If the man didn't have much money, and so had to sell everything he had to afford the field, why would he do this? All he gets is the field. But it's because he sees that the treasure in the field is hundreds and thousands of times worth more than anything he had. And that meant it was worth it. And so what Jesus is saying here is that he believed that being friends with God was the greatest treasure ever. Nothing in the whole world is as precious as God. Oh, I think Wesley likes the sound of the poem of the week. Well, today we're going to have the first bit of an amazing poem about the wonder of the sky, the starry night and the beautiful day. It's a poem in the Bible called Psalm 19. The heavens tell the glory of God, and the skies announce what his hands have made. Day after day, they tell the story. Night after night, they tell it again. They have no speech or words. They don't make any sound to be heard. But their message goes out through all the world. It goes everywhere on earth. I love this poem because it says that the skies are like people with loud trumpets do, 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 proclaiming to everyone that God is more beautiful than any sunrise, even more colourful than any sunset, even more wondrous than the majesty of the night stars. No wonder Jesus says that he is the greatest treasure of all if all these things show how great God is. What's amazing is that God who created every star in the sky and who, who is pure treasure, invites us all to talk to him, sometimes in set words and any time we want to in our own words. So let's pray together our wonderful school prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless our school, all the children, all the teachers and all the people who work here. Help us today in our work and in our play, for Jesus' sake. Amen. What we treasure the most is what our hearts think about and care about the most. Jesus said, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. What is your greatest treasure? Have a think about that. And why are you doing that? Ah. I need to go and dig me some treasure. Hmm. Where would the treasure be? Maybe the school field. Ooh.